I heard about Stellafane on Sky and Telescope when I was a boy. When I was 15 years old, I opened my first Sky and Telescope, and there was an article about Stellafane. I want to go! A lot of times a new idea is field tested right here at, at this convention. My, my favorite part about Stellafane is uh, the optical competition at night. I just love it. <laughs> We call it, the, the whole competition, mechanical and optical, we call it the heart and soul of uh, Stellafane because it really is, I mean, that's how we got started. Not so much with a competition, but with uh, the original members sharing the telescopes that they had built with each other right up here on Breezy Hill. We've been doing this for a hundred years. The best optics in the world are done with two hands, not with machines, not with computers, not with any of that. Um, anybody can do it. Yeah, it's it's just incredibly accessible and that's one of my goals is to help people find out that it is really accessible. I did it as a 10 year old with no background in um, physics and how mirrors and light waves work. I ground the mirror with the help of some people, um, mostly for testing purposes, and then everything else besides the secondary I made. So the focuser here is 3D printed. The drive for the focuser is also 3D printed, but it can be used manually. Yeah, and I think people are just always trying to be inventive. This is a really creative crowd. Um, and I'm really fortunate because I get to see a lot of the stuff that people are like trying out. This is my new idea. This is what I want to show people. And you know, you look at everybody else's what they've made or you get an idea of, of uh, you know, that's a great idea. I'll use that next time in my telescope or whatever. But uh, I've seen some great stuff here. I mean, this, is, this is why I come every year. I, I just walk around and look at stuff and it's like, why'd you do it this way? It's like, oh my God, how come everybody doesn't do it this way? Probably the biggest impact that I think this club has had uh, through Russell Porter is uh, via Porter's involvement with the Palomar uh, Telescope, uh, Palomar Observatory and the 200-inch telescope. You know, I have a fascination with our founder, Russell Porter. Not, not only is he an architect or, or a surveyor or, or the founder of the Springfield Telescope Makers, he's also an artist. And in, that skill came in quite handy in the late 1920s when Porter was called away to uh, join George Ellery Hale and his team out in California to help uh, develop and build uh, the 200-inch Palomar Telescope. And what we see on this wall are uh, copies of the so-called cutaway drawings that he did uh, in support of that effort. And there's been, you know, a lot of incredible people that have come through here that have gone off to do wonderful things in science and help society out. You know, Russell Porter, of course, did Mount Palomar, but, but there's been other people that have gone through here that have helped out with the, with the Apollo program, landing on the moon. Um, you know, Phil Roundsville has done the optics that did uh, some of the probes, the, uh, the one that just went to uh, uh, Pluto. So I have two pairs of, two, two pieces of optic, two lenses, flying out into the stellar space myself. It's like, yeah, I can't believe this. <laughs> so like I said, there's just a lot of amazing people up here that do just amazing things. And it's just, it, it's sort of like the Woodstock of telescope making. Most of the time when I'm talking to people my age about this, first of all they think it's like crazy, um, but they just didn't know that it's something that you could do by hand. It, Stellafane really changed my life. I wouldn't have the career I have today if it wasn't for this place and, and how I got started. The, the members are just unbelievable. They, they really are. And they come from all over the country and, and sometimes the world for a convention. If you come to Stellafane, I, I, I caution you. Attending your first Stolofane convention can be habit for me. <laughs>